What's up guys, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be comparing Primark dupes to the real life product, the duped product, expensive one. There's nothing in my hand, but you all know what I mean. I've got my Primark bag here. I picked up a few other bits that I haven't tried. So it's mostly products that I have tried, but I am also trying out like a new palette. There's like a spray and then some, something else I've already forgotten. Before we get into the video, I want to point out one thing, which I don't even know if it's very noticeable on camera. I got a few more tattoos the other day. It's in the weekly vlog. And yeah, normally I pride myself on a nice even tan, but if you've been tattooed before, you'll know that once you've been tattooed, they kind of wrap you up in cling film like a little sandwich. And basically I woke up this morning, took off the cling film and tape, and it took off all my fake tan as well. So yeah, it's, it's really annoying me, and I'm sure it'll probably annoy someone, but hey, a little sneak peek of them. Got a bug, got Bird face, little eyeball, and then a butterfly, and then bad fake tan. I'm sure none of you care. I'm sure most of you didn't even notice, but it was really bugging me, and I felt like I had to say something because it was really annoying me. Almost didn't film a video because it was annoying me. Did I mention it was annoying me? Yeah, look at all my new friends. I love them. But anyway, yeah, if you guys want to see me do half full face of makeup and then half full face of all the Primark dupes, please keep watching. I put it all in the bag, and now I just need to take it out and put it on my desk. Guys, in the comments today, I want you to name this bug here, this beetle. Wrong answers only. Let's put on some little froggies today, shall we? Okay, so I've already primed my skin with a little bit of moisturizer. I don't have a Primark primer to show you guys. I kind of wanted to make sure that all the products that I featured today were still available, at least in like some of the Primarks. Like all these products are still available in mine. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with probably one of the most well-known Primark dupes, which is of course the dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So this here is called the My Perfect Color Long Wear Ultimate Matte Foundation. It's a fiver, I have it in the shade Toffee. It might be a touch too dark, but we can lighten it up. And then I've got two different shades of Double Wear. I have Dawn and rattan, so I'll see which one suits me best. Let's do this side for the Primark. See, I'm going in with the shade Toffee. I'll sort of see how it looks on my skin. I really, really rate this foundation. I actually feel like I like it a bit more than Double Wear. I feel like it's just a bit more skin-like. Hello? Get a little air bubble in there. It's probably just gonna go all over me, isn't it? So I can get some of that on my brush. It does oxidize a little bit, but I'm just gonna paint it on first and then I'll probably lighten it in a minute if I need to. It smells really good, this foundation. Yeah, there was a lot of hype about this foundation when it first launched and it, it fully does live up to the hype. It's so, so good. It's full coverage, but not cakey. And it says that it's matte, but I really don't think it's too matte. I would say that the double wear is a lot more matte than this is. My color's actually not bad at all, really. But like, look. Look at how good that looks on my skin. Like it's full coverage, but not to the point where it looks cakey or like a mask or anything. I love it. So now I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which was Rattan, I think. I might change my mind, we'll see. Even the annoying packaging is the same. Well, so this is a lot thicker. That's what she said. And this I would definitely say is more full coverage, but not in an overly noticeable way. I feel like this just fully blanks your face out more, whereas this just kind of gives you more of like a skin-like kind of natural full coverage. I actually feel like I prefer the color of the Primark one as well. Don't get me wrong, I really, really love Double Wear Foundation, but I do think I prefer the Primark one. They obviously don't have anywhere near as many shades as Double Wear, which obviously can be an issue for a lot of people. But if you can find your shades, I think I prefer the Primark one. It's just more like, just dewy and glowy looking, whereas this one is just a bit more of like a mask. And maybe you guys can see that there. It, I just feel like the Primark one just looks so much better. This one just looks a bit too thick on my skin. So now we'll move on to concealer. So from Primark, I have the My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer, which to me, I believe it's kind of a dupe of the Maybelline Fit Me, which is also a dupe of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm gonna try out those two, the NARS one on this side, Primark on this side. I think the shades are pretty similar. I'm gonna go under my eyes, like so. I can feel a sneeze coming on. Down there, I feel like that's maybe it. I'll go down the center of my nose a little bit with the Primark one and 
down my forehead a bit. And then do the same with the NARS one. So this one's a little bit more yellow, but whatever. What shade am I using right now on the NARS one? Uh, this is Canel. Yeah, you can see the color difference a little bit there. It's a bit more yellowy. And again, I'll just blend all of this out. It's been a while since I actually used the Primark concealer, so I'd be interested to see how it sort of works at the moment. I always see people in the comments sort of saying to me, you know, don't I worry about cheap makeup and stuff? Obviously it depends on kind of where you're from and it depends on the company and everything, but especially for a lot of brands that are, you know, sold in the high street and sold in like well-known shops and everything, they all have to go through like safety precautions. So even though it is cheaper, you guys have got to remember that a lot of these products are actually made in similar factories. I don't know that for certain. I don't know if Primark products are, you know, actually copies of other products, but I think it was bourgeois makeup that's actually made in the same factory as Chanel makeup. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was bourgeois. So like, don't get me wrong, there can be some awful, awful cheap makeup on the market. But yeah, Primark makeup for me is always just, nine times out of 10, it's just banging. I'm using the weirdest foundation brush. Look at the shape of this thing. Look how stupid that is, but it's so good. It's the Sigma uh, Edge Kabuki. Okay, so in terms of coverage, I think the actual concealer coverage is pretty similar. Obviously I've got a bit more coverage on this side from the foundation. I feel like this one looks a little bit more hydrated. I'm gonna put a bit more on, just cause you know how I feel about my under eye coverage. I love it. And I'm gonna tap that on my finger cause I haven't done that in a while. And usually that was like the best way that I got more coverage out of concealers. Ooh, why haven't I done this? Why haven't I used my finger for a while? That's also potentially what she said. Oh hey. I know Ollie's just like cringing at all the awful jokes. Okay, so from tapping it on my finger, the NARS one definitely has a bit more coverage. I feel like I prefer the coverage of the NARS one, but I do really kind of like the finish of the Primark one. But yeah, this stuff, I think this stuff's like two or three pounds. Oh, 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 can't cheat, gotta put some on my eyelids. A little bit of primer. What do you guys think? Sorry, I'm just pulling funny face at you now. What do you think? Under eyes wise. Which one do you prefer? So now I wanna very briefly talk about the bronze whip from Primark. This stuff is four pounds. It's supposed to be a dupe of the Chanel Tan de Soleil stuff, which I don't have. I have tried it, but I don't have it now. I actually don't know where it went. I did really, really like the Chanel stuff. Obviously it's hella pricey being Chanel, but this stuff here is actually really, really nice as well. I'm just gonna tap it on and then blend it out with my foundation brush. I would probably look at this and be like, that is gonna be intense, but it's just a really kind of soft, sun-kissed sort of glow. Let's do a bit on the forehead. And because I don't have the Chanel one to try out, I am gonna do it on the other side as well. And then we can see how everything sort of works together. And by the way, in terms of the foundations, they do wear quite similarly. The Estee Lauder one probably lasts a little bit longer just because it is a lot thicker but for your standard sort of everyday wear, they do wear really nicely together. In fact, I'd probably say the Primark one fades a little bit more nicely. Once you set the Estee Lauder one down, it is quite matte, whereas this one, it does have a little bit more movement. But yeah, this stuff here, you guys know, I don't normally go for cream contour. It's not that often that I do, unless I need to warm up my base a bit, but I really, really like this stuff. It smells nice too. It smells like coconuts. And yeah, blends out nicely on both foundations as well. So I just went ahead and powdered everything down. I didn't have a Primark dupe powder to try out, so I just powdered it down with my usual. And apart from noticing that I need to get rid of my mustache, note self, I personally prefer the way that this looks. I feel like this one, again, like I said, it does just look a little bit more heavy, which is perfectly fine if that's the kind of look that you're going for. I am a changed woman these days. I'm now not going for like 110% heavy foundation. I'm just going for like 109 but yeah, for me, don't get me wrong, I still really like how this all looks. It doesn't look bad or anything, but I do personally prefer how this side looks a lot more. It looks a little bit more skin-like. I just feel like this side just looks a lot more healthy. This side still looks fine. You've still got a glow to the skin and everything, but I just feel like it looks a little bit more heavy, like around my mouth, around my nose and everything. So then when it comes to bronzers, Primark once upon a time brought out one of the best bronzers I've ever actually tried, which is a really, really good dupe for this one here from Urban Decay, which is the Beach Bronzer. When I went to my local store the other day, they didn't have that. They still had this one here though, which is called the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. And this isn't a dupe, 
I mean, you can see the two shades there. The bottom one is the Primark one. That's the Urban Decay one. But I just wanted to mention it quickly because this is still a really, really nice bronzer. But yeah, if you manage to get your hands on like the, I forget what it's called. I'm maybe trying to set a picture or something. If you manage to get your hands on it, maybe there's like some random stock left over or whatever. It's really, really good. I do prefer this bronzer but only a little bit, and for the price, the other one was just insane. So yeah, these are different, but I do just wanna put a little bit of that on just to warm my face up a bit. So this is of course the Primark side. And uh, just a little heads up, the Primark bronzers are so pigmented, so you only need the tiniest amount. But yeah, they always bring out the same sort of bronzers. I feel like they don't really change the formula too much, just like the colors a little bit, but I always love them. But yeah, the color that they brought out, the Dupe the Urban Decay one, it was so good. Primark, please bring that back this summer. So there's that. And then I'll go in with the Urban Decay one. I just think this one gives me a slightly more natural tan kind of look. Blot that down. But like on the skin, when they're blended out, you really don't notice much of a difference. So yeah, not quite a dupe, but just thought I'd mention that quickly. The Primark one's two quids. Can't really go wrong. So next for highlighters, Primark have always done so many different highlighter dupes. They've done like glow kit dupes, highlighter dupes. They did like a Fenty kind of dupe. One of the only highlighters that I saw they actually still had in store for me was this one here, which is called the Gold Luster Highlighting Powder. It cost three pounds. So I had a little swatch party last night. Literally, I was covered in swatches. And one popular highlighter that came out that was quite similar to that one was this one here from The Balm, the Mary Luminizer, which I used to wear. Oh my God, I used to wear this all the time. So I'll do another swatch of them quickly side by side. The Primark one is a little teeny tiny bit more goldy, but they still give a very, very similar effect when you put them on your skin. I feel like there aren't too many new Primark launches out at the moment. I'm wondering if it's because of like COVID and stuff. But yeah, depending on your store, you will see like a lot of the dupes that I've mentioned, like the glow kit ones. I love the glow kit highlights that they did. But like, look at this, it's insane. So I'm just gonna douse my face in that. Everyone was laughing at me the other day because I said I was going more subtle and then I proceeded to paint my face with eight layers of highlighter. It's just, um, it's an illness, okay? I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do it so precisely so I'm literally just getting one side of my cupid's bow. No cheating. And then I'll just dust that on my brow bone as well. It's so nice. And then I'm just making sure I'm dusting off my brush as best as possible. And then I'm gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer, which like I said, I haven't tried out in so long. But look. This stuff is honestly so, so intense. I am barely even touching my face with a brush. Another good dupe of this actually is the W7 Glow Commotion Highlighter. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, that again is a really, really good dupe for this. Look, it's so intense. Make sure I do the other side of the cupid's bow, of course. Da, 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 da. Even enough. Oh, I just, I love it. So now, Something new, I don't know if this is gonna be a dupe, but we're gonna find out together. So I, of course, have my favorite lip plumper of all time. I love this stuff so much. Okay, my, my second favorite lip plumper, my first favorite is actual lip filler, but this here is the Lip Injection Extreme from Too Faced, and oh boy, this stuff is intense. So I'll do it on this side. Again, I'm trying to make sure I do it fairly. This stuff fully makes your lips swell up. I've even had it before, so I've like kissed the back of my hand to get rid of the excess. And I've ended up with like a rash on the back of my hand. So, you know, who knows what it's doing to my lips, but it, it looks nice and it feels fun. So I always tend to go a little bit outside of my lips as well, because then it makes them look a little bit more like swole. So just a little bit on the outside. And you might start to see that they sort of get a little bit more red. So I saw they had this in Primark the other day. So this is the lip plumper. It costs three pounds and I got it in clear shimmer. They also had it in pink. It says it gives instant volume and plumping effect to the lips. I can already feel the other one starting to work. But yeah, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we'll see. It's like a similar kind of color. Doesn't seem to have much of a smell. So you can obviously use these as lip glosses, but I just tend to use them as lip plumpers and then I go in my lipstick. Ooh, I feel that one already. I feel this one a little bit. This one takes a couple of minutes to kick in. I feel that instantly, like here. It's like, I don't know what this is. Maybe you can, if I show on the macro, I'm wondering if you can kind of tell on the macro here. My lips are getting a little bit more red. This bit up here is getting a little bit more red and plump. Obviously this side's got a little bit of catching up to do, but 
we'll see. Definitely feels like it's doing something though. That could be interesting. So now for my brows, while I'm waiting for my lips to just expand, uh, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift, and then I also have the 3-in-1 Brow Pencil uh, in dark brown. I don't know if they're gonna be the same color. We'll just see. But yeah, this is just the same kind of concept. So you have an angled brow pencil on one side, you have the brow gel at the end, and then you also have the brow powder. I don't normally tend to use the brow powder, but it's there if you need it. My lips are just tingling, that's what she said. The Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit different, so it doesn't actually have a brow gel, it just has a spoolie on one side, but then you have the angled pencil on the end as well. And then you also have a powder, but this one's a bit more of like a highlighting sort of product, so it's not exactly the same, but it's like inspired by the Charlotte Tilbury one. So on the Primark side, I'm just going to fill in my brows with a little bit of that gel. It's a really nice little brush. You can probably see this is a tinted gel as well. So then I'm just gonna go in with the angle pencil and I'm just gonna fill in a couple of gaps and lift my arch a tiny bit. Normally I obviously brush my brows up like a werewolf, but I'll just fake it today. But yeah, this is also a really good color. You don't wanna get too heavy handed because that with the gel can look a little bit intense, but it's nice. And then what I'll do is I will Brush up my brows with the spoolie. And just do the same thing with the Charlotte Tilbury one. Just fill in a couple of little gaps. And you know what? I actually do prefer the Primark one for this. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the brow gel just so I'm evened up a bit. Cause this brow's looking a little bit beige. My lips are fully tingling. You can see it's more red on this side, but this side I can fully feel it. It's actually really good, that lip plumper. Another dupe that Primark do that I won't be trying out today because I have used it loads and loads of times before. I feel like I need to switch these the other way around. We've got the Brow Pomade from Primark, which costs £2.50, which is of course a dupe for the ABH Dip Brow. I do prefer the ABH one just because it is so much more long lasting and it's waterproof and everything, but this is still nice. Like if you're not gonna go jumping in water or, I don't know, if you're just wearing it for an average day, this is a nice brow pomade. This one is a lot more long lasting though. Next for eyeshadow, I am very excited to try both these out. I have the Neon Eyeshadow Palette. Um, they have a bunch of different ones of these. This is just the green one, which is of course a dupe for the Huda Beauty Neon Obsessions one. So it looks like this. I'm wondering if this is actually a dupe or if it just looks like a dupe. Yes, yeah, so you've actually got completely different colors there. I kind of like that Primark are doing that though. Like I actually, I don't know, I love dupes, so I'm doing this video, but I feel like sometimes it's a little bit cheeky to completely rip off a product. So I actually really kind of rate the fact that it's a little bit different. I actually feel like I kind of prefer the color story of that one as well. But yeah, I'm gonna pick out some of the colors that are very, very similar in this palette. However, I do also have these guys here. So we have the Huda Beauty Matte and Metals uh, Melted Eyeshadows. And this here from Primark is called the Liquid Shadow Duo. Again, you have a matte side and a metallic side. Primark loves to dupe Huda Beauty. So the two shades that I'm using is Slow Jams from Huda, and then I have the shade Dreamboat. I'm curious about the swatches of these. So we've got the shimmer there. Nice. I feel like the colors are gonna be ever so slightly different, just judging by how it looks from the outside. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Okay, so that's the Primark one. And then the Huda Beauty one. Let's see how you compare. Yeah, okay, so this one is a lot more rosy. And then this one here, a lot more purpley. I wonder if I have another color that actually is more of a dupe for that. Okay, so I feel like this is actually a bit more of a closer dupe. So this is in the shade, uh, you've got Pink Champagne and Bubble Bath. Yeah, you've got those two shades next to each other there. And then those two pinks instead. So obviously you've got the other one that I tried, the more purpley one. But those two more like baby pinks. So I think because these are like the closest dupes to each other, I'm gonna mostly use these over my eyes, but I'll probably use the sort of like green shades maybe on my inner corner. So let's go in with the matte Primark thing first. And I mean, I'm just gonna whack this all over my lid really. And then just blend it out. I don't know how blended I want it to be, so I'm just gonna take this shader brush. I'm just gonna pat that in first, and then I'll start to blend. It's blending out quite nicely. Buff that out onto my brow bone, like that. And then I'm gonna go straight in with the metallic color and do that sort of all over my lid. I 
I'm making sure to use just one side so I can use pretty much the same brush. I mean, that looks all right. The, the shimmery one looks a little bit sheer and not completely foiled, but I'm still quite happy with that. Especially for like, what, three quid? So now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty one. See, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bubble Bath first. The Huda Beauty ones seem a lot thicker. And if you're wondering, I wipe this brush on my trouser leg, so it's basically clean. So the color on this is a little bit more lilac and a bit more muted. And then I'll go in with the shimmer. Ooh, baby. Yeah, they're a lot more thick and foiled. But the result is pretty similar, to be honest. I mean, you can tell the difference when I've got them both on at the same time, but you wouldn't really know much of a difference if you just had one of them on by itself. But I don't really feel like anyone would know the difference otherwise. I do slightly prefer the formula of the Huda Beauty ones because they are just a little bit more opaque, but they both blend out really nicely and the general effect is pretty similar as well. So now let's, ooh, let's use this shade here. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty one first. This actually doesn't seem to be picking up much. I'm gonna take that and put it right on my inner corner. Whoa, hello Fallout. Dude, there's fallout everywhere on this. Okay, dusting it off of my trousers. Let's try this Primark one. That already looks more promising. I prefer the Primark one. That's way better. But look at the difference with that. This one's kind of like chunky, fallouty. That's way better. I'm actually gonna bring that onto my lid a bit as well. And then I'll do the same with the Huda Beauty one. Try and make sure I don't get it everywhere. Pretty face I'm making, isn't it? You like that? Oh, mate, the Primark one is way better. What the hell? I'm actually having to go in and like clean it up a little bit. I'm not really into that, to be honest. Like, I know it's only one shade, but that doesn't look great. Okay, so now I'm gonna wipe off all that lip plumper. I feel like it's made a difference. This side is a little bit more full, I think. It's a little bit more red, so a little bit more blah, 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 what? This side I feel like looks a tiny bit more full and it's also a bit more red because obviously more blood has like brushed the surface, but that's definitely plumped up a bit as well. That's really good. I mean, this isn't cheap at all. I will stock up on that three pound one from Primark. Last few things, I have some setting sprays. So this is of course the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. And then I also have the Prep and Perfect Glow Setting Mist. They also used to have this one here, the Glow Intensity Spray. Don't think they have it anymore, but they're like very sort of similar. Obviously, as you can see, the colors are different, but the general effect is very, very similar. And I did also want to give a little shout out to these guys here. You of course have Mac Fix Plus, and then you have basically Mac Fix Plus. But this is actually called the Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray. So this is actually a primer, but it's in the same bottle pretty much as Fix Plus. This one smells of watermelon though. I have another one of these, but I kind of just wanted to smell the watermelon one. Let me see. Nice. Do I taste it? Not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with both of these. Spray the, where's my palette? Try and, my face is bigger than that. Let's do this instead. Spray this side with the Primark one. A little bit of glow. And then this side with the Iconic London. Okay. But yeah, both of these just add a really, really nice glow. I do personally prefer the Iconic London one. I feel like it's the OG. It's one of the best ones that I've tried. But if you want something similar for a lot cheaper, this guy from Primark, four pounds, it does give you a very, very similar effect. Ooh, it looks so shiny. So then I have another new thing to try out. I actually thought this was gonna be a dupe for like the Benefit, uh, their real mascara, just cause the packaging looked kind of the same. However, when I open this up, the packaging doesn't really look like much. This is the Wonder Lash, by the way. But I opened it up and I was like, this looks a lot like my beloved Telescopic. Don't get me wrong, it's not exactly the same, but it's a very similar sort of wand. So I really just wanna try this out and see if it's anything like it. Once again, I'm a big fat Primark mascara fan girl. I think they do so many good mascaras. That is nice. It's a lot more clumpy than telescopic, which is probably down to the bristles. That's a really good mascara though. 
That's probably one of the best Primark ones I've tried for a little while, actually. Do you guys like clumpy mascara or are you just like, no thank you? Because this is definitely more clumpy than the telescopic, which I'll show you guys now, but I really, really like it. I feel like the formula of the L'Oreal one is just a bit thinner. Wait, but now I'm actually kind of looking at this one. I kind of prefer this one right now. <gasps> What's happening? This is quite an old one for me. I do need to get a new one, but I quite like the Primark one. I mean, to be fair, they are actually quite similar. If you guys are struggling to get hold of this, if you want something a bit cheaper, I don't know how this wears just yet, because I know this is like my ride or die. But yeah, the Wonder Lash Mascara from Primark, it's pretty similar. Interesting. So then last but not least for my lips, I have this matte lipstick here in the shade Naked, and I gave it a couple of swatches, and the closest dupe that I found was for the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade Influentially It. These are like super pale pink. They even kind of smell the same. So maybe you can see those two shades there. And I have this lip liner here. I was swatching literally everything. I couldn't find a close enough match for this lip liner, but I thought I would just use it anyway. This is just in the shade Toast. Yeah, I'm just gonna line my lips with that. That'll do. And then I'll go in with the MAC one on this side. And then Primark on this side. Ta-da! Let me take my frog ears off. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Very sort of baby pink, but I'm kind of into it. What do you think? I really prefer the Primark side. There's some things that I do prefer on this side, but I think overall, the foundation, the inner corner, I felt like was a major thing for me because I really was not into that shade from the Huda Beauty palette. I like the brow product more. And on this occasion, I actually kind of prefer this mascara. It might just be because my other one is getting a little bit old, is getting a little bit dry, so I do need to get a new one. But I really, really like this. There's really not much of a difference, but this is bloody good. But yeah, let me know which side you guys prefer. Do you prefer the Primark side or the other side? If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you, you, in the next one. Bye.